this is a script the this one you can take this one and then practice it community script okay so what we are doing is nothing okay there is one thing where you use this one get editable fields to get the control of all the fields of the table in a farm if you have 20 30 editable fields you will get all 20 editable fields in one shot okay and then we are just writing one for loops here and then setting all of them to true understood yes sir so try this one okay understood you will understand easily maybe for first time developers you may get a kind of how to use for loop this may be the challenging part of you correct if anyone are facing uh, for loop issue then for loop will work like this first of all okay so how the script works is very carefully see right if the new value is 8 means cancelled 1 2 3 6 7 8 8 is for cancelled okay then what they are taking is they are taking a variable called field they just put one variable okay i can take anything i will normally take sk sk and all right so they took one thing called field then they got g found out get editable fields this one will bring if I open a form like this, okay. Right. So they will I, I just open a form like this, right? In this form, right, this respect to function will get every of editable fields. Right? That means it will get Right, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, this one, everything. Every of the field names, okay, it will get and then keep it in the field. So, this field value is now the backend names separated by comma, everything. Understood, ma? It is something like this. After this one, the field, field equal to, okay, u underscore manager, comma, u underscore first underscore name so you can put an alert and then check it how what value it is coming okay u underscore last underscore name it will go on whatever the editable field is that name it will come like this okay now right this is considered as an array now right i will tell you what is array later because that is important for us but it will come like an array whenever you have any fee, any value that is comma separated now it will be considered as an array it will be like treated like this in structure okay it will go like this and then it can it can be like an array right now g form set read only field of something equal to two means you want to do first first you are you are running a kind of loop here so get this field set it read only get this field set read only get this field set read only right so when you are saying like an arena you can take like position array of zero okay array of one array of two array of three array of four array of five something like this it will go okay anyway we are explaining it now we will explain properly right way to compromise what is an array array is the collection of similar kind of objects okay example students okay so students if students is an array okay so if i want to capture all my students then array will be like this so it will be like this okay so your names will come all the names will come like this okay so first maybe anil okay then something like this then okay it, 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 it will come like this because there is a similarity between you okay and you are all common correct what is the commonness in you student correct number right you all got this point yes sir so now if you have this structure this is called as an array okay you can read the values right so now if i say student students array of zero equal to anil 
Understood now? Okay. Array positions will start from 0, 0 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, like this. So, array of 1. What is the array of 1? Array of 1 is this name. Array of 2. What is array of 2? No, sir. Okay. So now you understood what is array, what is the positions of array, everyone? Yes, ma? Yes, sir. Hmm. Now, part 1. The definition of array and then positions, everyone clear? Please acknowledge here till this point. Please acknowledge. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, next thing is, I want to make this person read only. Read only, read only, read only, read only, right? We want to do an operation on the every object of this particular, means every value of this array. Correct? So now you need to take one and then do one operation. Take one operation, take one operation, correct? For this, you use for loop. Now for loop, how it works is, okay, I have, okay, maybe x, x is equal to 10. Right? So, I want to run 10 times. What is the value of array? Okay. What is the total value of array? Array of this one. Na? The total number of people, okay, in this list will be maybe, let's say, 50. Right? Now, how you take this number 50 is students dot length. The array dot length. Array dot length will give you the length of, means the count, how many people are there. Understood the second point? Yes, my everyone understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Okay. Now, right, how for loop is working is I want to do one activity for 10 times. Okay. Let's write second two table. I used to teach my son, okay, in C language. He used to write all the tables. Okay. So, for i equal to we take one thing called i that is initializer or anything we can take anything but i j we will take it in for loop okay i needs to start from one means two ones are two no correct i less than or less than or equal to 10 means 10 times we need to do okay i plus plus it needs to do iteration okay then come here and then say what you want to do you need to print something now so let's say print okay if you have something called print we in c language we say scan of print of scan of correct so print of so let's say it's a print okay i'm printing it okay print f okay two into i equal to okay what is the value of i now? If it is 1, then, okay, so no, it's oh. 2. Okay, so this is symbol actually. 2, uh, I, I need to put 1 symbol actually. It's not, okay, multiply of, okay, I will put like this. 2 times of i equal to, okay, well, how to get the value 2 into 1, 2 into i. Understood now? Okay, then I will end the loop, right? Now, this loop will run how many times? First time I, okay, based on, it started with I, 2 into 1, value 2. Then again it will run, 2 into 2, 4, 2 into 3, 6, 9, 2 into 9, 18, 2 into 10, 20, 2 into 11. Will it go for 2 into 11? <laughs> Will it go? No. Because here you restricted to 10 only. Correct? So 2 into 10, last. So which is pushing to next value here? I plus plus. Correct? So this, this is how it will pass to every value are available in this particular 10. Then it will complete it, the cycle. That is called for loop. Here also, you have student, right? 
so first array of zero so see here for i equal to zero i less than or equal to the length of this field means 50 in our example i plus plus go here now g form set read only field of i field of i the first value is this person the second of okay so if this one runs for first time field of i is and it will come the field name the respective field name like whatever you written here where you written the field names so first name last name something i written no? first underscore name last ah, here so first line first time if i runs now then this one will this can this one will come okay array of zero then it will run again okay because it is iterating here array of two this guy will come and then next time it will run so it will run for how many times 50 times because length so finally it will set the read only true to all the fields which are available in the array understood my everyone yes sir first time learners you understood how for loop works what is an array yes yes sir yes. okay so only thing what we didn't know is there is something called this one okay where it, it is not there in the list of our g form functions but it will work okay good right okay fine so yeah now okay. it's clear everyone sir uh, i have question what is i plus plus in it iteration mark to pass to next okay so it is starting with one correct so i have to do 10 times right i need to start with one now so i equal to one do it till this condition meets and then do these many like every time do it right plus plus means increase it incrementally right so first time it starts with one two one zero two then the life is done means cycle is done then again it will go okay now i plus plus so next value if i is what two 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 zero four then what is the next value of i okay three so it will go on go on go on go on how many times it will go on till, okay. till the time this condition is okay. okay sir i want to print the two table in a reverse way sir okay means first i need to print two gen two ten or two two in two times of ten equal to twenty then two times of nine equal to eighteen something like this i need to print then can i print sir so like that then in that case you need to print like this This is decremental i minus minus in for loop you can use my decremental also incremental and decremental is that correct now if i print this one then how the two table will be printed first what it will be printed next what it will be printed two ten jar two nine jar two eight jar correct everyone got this yes sir good right by the way when i given this assignment how many people got this structure automatically you did it now many two three people did it you just copy pasted or you also learned this one for loop copy pasted confirm it no i'm just asking you already did good job so you just copy pasted or you also learned this one how it is working who completed this practice ma? Cancel one. Anyone can tell me. Hmm, please tell me. Copy. And after copying, like, it, uh, understood, sir. But initially, we didn't get it. So you just copy, paste it, execute it. Okay, fine. Thank you, ma'am. Others? Whoever did this one? We just copy pasted or how 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 much you understood this one so i would like to understand your your thought process actually no don't hesitate please tell because i would like to understand that's it i am not even showing your names so please you can tell three people did it no three four people did it right yesterday so many people raised their hand correct when you did this one you just copy pasted or you learnt this one like this please confirm that mm -hmm. copy pasted 
No sir, lent also. Hmm, lent also, very good. Ah, oh, that's what I want. Either copy pasted mm -hmm. or lent also. Either either answer is fine. Others? Yes sir. Yes, sir. Others? <laughs> Please confirm. I don't. I'm just asking to know what is your level of understanding. That's it. It's not to say anything wrong or something. Who are all completed? Two people confirmed. Only two people did this assignment. Number four. Why you? Okay, okay, fine. My intention is whenever we are getting something new, na, going forward, we need to complete the learning also. That. So here, okay. So sir, given this assignment to me, what I will do? First, I will go and get this code. First, I will make it executed. Then I will start understanding it. What is this? First of all, how the for loop works. Then I will see a small video in YouTube to understand what is for loop. And here they said this one. What is this? It's a component of array. Wherever you get an array, we will represent this way. Then I will see what is an array, how the array works, and how the okay, how the position is. That's it. Whatever I written all the story here. This can be available in internet also, right? Whenever we are getting something new, na, that time you need to little dig into and then start learning the other things also. That is one of the many important main thing here. Correct, because you are in the path of learning, right? Many things will come. Am I right, my everyone? Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. And yeah, for development, this is must. You need to have that kind of broad mind to learn many things. Okay. Don't stick only with our class because, see now, generally I don't, I never explain this one. Okay. Has someone asked? Now I explain it, right? Now, it took how much time for us? Twenty minutes. This is one of the basic thing about scripting, correct? If we start explaining these kind of things, now. Then our classes will be 150 to 200. Am I right? Only for array only we can take three classes. Understood, ma? Am I right? You are understanding what yes. I am trying to say. Okay. So what is essential? I am telling from service no point of view. Okay. But this is not service no concept. This is general coding concept. Array and for loop and all. These small small things. When you get it, please learn it then and there. Okay, that is very important thing. Still, if you are not able to understand something, then ask me. I will I will try to cover it. Okay. Don't hesitate to ask if it is something which you didn't understand. I can try. Okay. But you try first. That is the important thing. Okay. Good. Any questions on this part? Is that clear now? What is for loop? What is array? And what is this simple script? All good? Okay. Yes, sir. Yes. Good. 